And this is George P. Bush. I want to say a few words. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. He came, he came all the way from the great state of Texas, and, and most of these veterans here, we, we take care of our veterans in Texas. We have eight veteran retirement homes through the Texas Veterans Land Board, and who's the, the, uh, the proud commissioner of. So he wanted to say a few words uh, before we get uh, touring this beautiful memorial. Thank you, Alan, and I want to thank the uh, amazingly professional Honor Flight team of, of Texas and nationally for the great work that they do to make sure that our great World War II veterans have a chance to enjoy this wonderful memorial on a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. You know, I speak to you uh, this morning as the grandson, uh, the proud grandson of a World War II naval aviator. Uh, I speak to you as a veteran myself of Operation Enduring Freedom. And when I followed you all into the memorial itself, and I look at the American flag, and I've had a chance to visit with you, it's a constant reminder of the greatness of our country. The characteristics that you demonstrate, the quiet commitment, the courage, the perseverance, that's what makes this country so great. But the temptation is, as we move away from World War II, that we will lose sight of the horrors of World War II. But because of this great memorial, and because of your selfless sacrifice, that will never happen under our watch. And so, uh, as we look out and ponder on the over 4,000 stars that each represent over 100 soldiers and sailors that gave freely their lives, and on the 17th Street Memorial, you'll see that it makes sense that we are here between the Washington Memorial, the father of our nation in the 18th century, and the Lincoln Memorial, the preserver of our nation in the 19th, that it was the young men and women of the 20th century that not only kept our country safe and free, but the world. But when we honor you, we should also honor those that gave their last full measure. And those are the men and women that gave their lives, the over 400,000, many of whom you served with, that had families, that had siblings, and left them behind. And like you, they were the greatness of our country. They were farmers, they were mechanics, they were pilots. And they didn't ask whether or not they should serve, it was a question of when. And it's that spirit of service that makes our country so great. So on behalf of uh, the great state of Texas, we humbly support you, we are grateful for your service. You are Texans, you are Americans, you are the greatest of our country. May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless the United States of America.